I'm with MP Candace. Candace Hepner. That's right. And uh, she's a member of Parliament now. And tell me what um, is the most important issue that you think that your majority government has passed? Well, I think what we've done is, uh, and it's been very important, is stayed focused on the economy and uh, because that's our priority, the majority of, of the work that we're doing has to do with keeping the economy strong, helping create jobs, uh, opportunity, making sure that different parts of the country stay strong. Uh, the riding that I represent, which is portage Lisgar, is very fortunate. We, uh, we, we've, we've actually not suffered too badly from the, from the downturn, but at the same time, we know that the, uh, the recovery is, is a fragile recovery. So, uh, of course, I'm also very happy because I worked hard to end the long gun registry, and we passed that piece of legislation. We've also passed some really important crime bills, keeping uh, our safe streets and communities crime bill, which uh, was, a, was a bill that encompassed several previous bills. And things for women's issues, very strong. <laughs> well, women care about the economy, women care about crime, women care about accountability. Uh, women and men, you know, Canadians, are concerned with these things. So that's what our government has been focused on. We're here today with Prime Minister Stephen Harper. I mean, you see all the people here excited, looking forward to seeing him. And uh, it's a sunny day. Excuse my sunglasses. It is a sunny day. Otherwise, my eyes won't be open. And it's great that you're here, Natalie. Oh, okay. it's it so nice to talk to you again. I haven't talked to you in a long time, you right? Too. Really Before you were a member of Parliament, even. Yes, when I Tell was me, is it, is, it, is it better for women in politics now than it was, let's say, when I first ran? It wasn't that good. You know, there's been a, so much work done by, by women in past generations, and, and women have gone through some, some real struggles. And now today, I think women in Canada are probably uh, in some of the best positions uh, in the world. And I think that, uh, you know, by and large, we have every opportunity that, that men have in Canada. We have uh, every chance to be successful, whether it's in politics, in business, family. Uh, we're very fortunate to be women in Canada. And uh, I think that it's a credit to great women who, great women and men who have gone before us. So I just see the positive. I see women in Canada as strong, as leaders. Uh, you know, we're not victims. We're, we're leading the way. Well, uh, next and, women... And, and so I think it's just, it's just upward from... Upward and I'll put in someday a woman prime minister, hopefully. We've had a woman prime minister, and you know, I've for more than three said, months. Listen, for more than you know months, what? Though yeah. I always believe yeah. whether it's a, for a member of parliament, what, whatever the position is, we need the person who's the best person for the job. And many times those are women. But I don't think women want to be elected or chosen just, just based woman, on their yeah. gender. Absolutely not. We want to get elected. We want to be hired. We want to move forward because of our capabilities, which we have, which are numerous, and which we bring to uh, every table that we sit at. So uh, I, I say we need the best people. Whatever the job is, we need the best people. Many times those are obviously our women. Well, thank you very much, and have a nice time at the barbecue. Thank you very much. And we'll be very interested to see what Stephen Harper has to say. That's great. Thank you Thanks, very much, Natalie. Candace. Just tell me when. Right now, this is James Bazin, uh, a member of parliament for the Conservative Party. In what riding? Hi, I'm James Bazin, member of parliament for Selkirk Interlake. I want to welcome everyone to the beautiful Hitching Post Ranch, where we're having a great big barbecue celebrating all our conservative supporters, our members, our donors, our volunteers that make it possible for us to have uh, majority conservative government and of course we have a very special guest tonight, Prime Minister Stephen Harper, who I'm sure is going to have some great information and news for us all. And, and, and probably a lot of jokes too, right? I Hopefully. Can you just give a comment on your impression of the Prime Minister's job so far in the majority well, I, government? I think the Prime Minister is doing a fantastic job. As you're going to hear later tonight in my comments when I get to introduce him, I, I'm going to say he is the greatest Prime Minister that I've got to witness in my lifetime. The most important thing right now is the economy. Talk louder. The most important thing is the economy. We have to make sure that people have jobs and that our economy stays stable. Stable. And of course, I have Bill 310, C310, that's going another bill on human trafficking. Okay, and tell me what's going important. on. Yeah, I'm very interested in that. That's your thing, right? Yes. That's the most important thing that I'm. You know, I, you know, I think that there's a lot of people out there that have gone through it that are scared to talk about it. And, 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 and bringing it out is so important. Yeah, we need to talk for about it. For keeping them on the street and behind bars where they belong.